And this is where the identities were born. We're trying to find the tangent of s plus t. They give us some information. All right. Now, the tangent of s plus t is the tangent of s plus the tangent of t divided by 1 minus the tangent s tangent t. Now, we are going to construct our triangles with our given information. Triangle s comes from the cosine of s is minus 8 seventeenths. The cosine is ka, ka, ka. That's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so that's a minus 8. That's a 17, and we use the Pythagorean to complete that triangle. That should be a minus 15, because s and t are both in q3. Now let's make it for the t triangle. Again, it's ka. So we go, and we label the adjacent side minus 3, and the hypotenuse, oh, that should be a minus 4, too, also in addition. Now, let's fill in these guys using the opposite and the hypotenuse, the tangent of both of those triangles appropriately. The opposite is 15 and minus, oh, that should be a minus 15. Ah, keep going. And then, use triangle T. Go ahead. Triangle T for the tangent of T, and then we see that this is going to be a minus, that should be minus also. 1 minus, oh, that should be plus. Mm, that one too. All right. So now we've goofed up, and you probably want to rework this a couple times knowing now that you have this information. But let's throw this into a calculator and see what we get, just in case the signs corrected themselves. They probably didn't, and there goes your bad edit. All right, and um, you're done. Pull it together. This, this one, one time, time in math, math class. class. This one time in math, math class. 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 Real stories from the classroom.